In this video, I'm going to show you how to color splash your footage inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And essentially what this is, is desaturating every color in the frame except for one specific color. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got some footage imported onto your sequence, we can now begin with the color splash effect. And first of all, you just want to choose your color. So I'm going to begin with this orange on the bricks here. So in order to do the color splash, we're going to go into effects and search for Lemetri. That will typically be all the way at the bottom past all of these presets. And there it is, Lemetri color in color correction. So we'll just drop that onto our footage. And then inside of Lemetri, as you can see, there's this big window over here. We've got basic correction, creative curves, color wheels and match, HSL secondary and vignette. We're only going to focus on HSL secondary for now. So as you can see in HSL secondary, we've got all of these different colors here. We've got this color wheel and all of these other settings. So what we're first going to do is just select this color. Now you can either use this eyedropper tool to select that specific color, and this will be generated like this. Or alternatively, you can just eyeball it. So we'll start with a red as a good starting point, and then we can just slide this across and everything will turn gray except for the color that you're choosing. So if I was to hover over the blue, as you can see, the blue is going to be selected, but everything else is going to disappear. So I'm just going to focus on this orange and I'm just going to find a point where I feel like that looks great. And I think that's there. So that is the hue slider. Now I'm going to move on to saturation. Just going to slide across. And as you can see, if I go across, then because these aren't too saturated, that is going to disappear. So you want to be somewhere around here. And then we'll go to lightness. Again, that's the same story. I'm just going to pull this across. The bricks are quite a dark color, so I'm going to select somewhere there. If you focus on this bottom part down here, if I pull this all the way across, you can see that's starting to disappear. You want to avoid selections like this because that is going to look really noisy once you affect the colors. So try and avoid that. Pull that across to avoid that intermediate part gray part selection area. And then once you've done that, you can now move down into saturation and we just pull the saturation down to zero percent and as you can see the building has now turned into this black and white filter but everything else is in color so we need to invert that so we'll go into the invert mask so we've got all of these color sliders here show mask color gray invert mask so select that and now that color is saturated and everything else is black and white and that is the color splash effect if i play through this footage you can see everything else is desaturated except for that building and of course, this effect doesn't just work for landscape or these sort of GV type shots. This does also work for people and other types of shots as well. So I'll do that on this shot here. So I'm just going to focus on the skin tones in this example. So we'll drop Lemetri onto this clip. We'll go HSL secondary. And I'm just going to use this eyedropper tool to select my skin tone. Or alternatively, rather than that, we'll start at orange. And I'm just going to focus on my skin. Now, as you can see, that is not going to be a great selection because there's too much gray and it's going to look a bit noisy. So I'm just going to move this over until I feel like that's a good selection. And that is a good selection there. Just before that jumper is affected, I'm just going to select around there and then we'll target the saturation. So same thing again, try and find that great selection lightness as well. There you go. So my head is starting to go there. So I'm going to select at that point. We'll invert the mask. And then we'll go down to saturation and we'll pull the saturation down. Although, as you can see, there's a bit of a harsh line here. So in order to avoid that, we're just going to go up to refine. We've got denoise and blur. Just going to increase the blur a little bit. As you can see, if I take it too far, it just looks like this horrible blurry mess. So I'm just going to keep that at around two or three just to smooth that out. In fact, now I'm going to take that a little higher. Let's go for seven. And that is really going to smooth that out. Of course, though, if you wanted, you can increase the saturation a little bit so there's a softer roll off. So it's not full black and white, but it's leaning into that desaturated look. And there you go. Going back to this first clip, if you wanted to target just the sky, then of course, even though you've made these selections, you can just pull this across, focus on the blue, and there you go. We've got our blue sky now saturated, and the buildings and everything around those buildings are now white. You can really see that with these trees down here. So if I select green and I budge this across so that the green is in, you can see that tree is now nice and saturated and everything else is black and white. 
And the great thing is about using the HSL secondary section in the Lemetri color setting is there's no motion tracking, there's no keyframes. It's just going to log all of those colors in your footage for you. So essentially you're just selecting the color and then just keeping an eye on your footage as it's playing through to make sure that that effect is consistent. And if it isn't consistent for any reason, then just go ahead and just make any modifications to the color selection. But there you go. That is how you do this color splash or this color desaturation effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.